Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today we are going to be clearing out my wardrobe. That's right, after clearing out my entire makeup collection in March, April is going to be the month in which I show you how I clear out my wardrobe for the spring season, so let's get started. Welcome if you're new here, welcome if you're a returning visitor, thank you so very much for joining me today. Fashion is a topic I love chatting about on this channel, but my main bread and butter is makeup related content, namely eyeshadow palettes I love talking about in different videos. I love trying out Essence and Catrice products as well if they have anything new coming out, but to be quite fair, I really like getting the use out of my products and also the use out of my wardrobe, which is why it is time for my annual declutter and we need to declutter some things because at the moment it's a struggle to put anything away after I've done laundry. I know however that in the next couple of months I will be able to rearrange my wardrobe a little bit and I will be able to claim a little bit more space in this build-in situation so that I actually have a bit more space for things. So I don't need to get rid of that much but I definitely want to clear out some space because I have some new things on the way and I have definitely feel sort of shifted in my tastes a little bit in recent years. Maybe it's lockdowns, who knows? Um, but I think I can just get rid of some things and that's what we're here for. So I'm just opening the video with a shot of my wardrobe so I have a lot of hanging space over on this side with tops and blouses most of it you can't even see. Then I've got all of my sweaters behind me, as well as all of my jeans. And then down here, I've got all of my dresses and my cardigans. And then this unit right here houses blazers. And then there are six drawers underneath it, of which four are also devoted to clothing. <laughs> so we've got a lot to get to. I'm going to move you to the floor and I'm just going to speed you through things, maybe chat about a couple of things here and there if I'm sort of on the fence trying to make a decision, that sort of thing. Uh, but mainly this is just going to be me speeding through things with a bit of music in the background. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get this spring wardrobe clear out started. So the first section we're going through are all of my longer skirts. So let's get started. So I've gone through the entire pile and I've got a couple of definite declutters. So I've got this burgundy skirt from ASOS, an H&M one that I put in a styling video. It's a tool mesh and tool polka dot skirt, which is really pretty, but I don't really like the baby pink. And I actually found I had a pair of, well, they're more like culottes, but when you wear them, it looks like a dress that are also like a mesh and tool. Um, so I keep that with my, with my skirts actually, so I would wear that over this because it's a bit easier to wear. And this is a vintage skirt and this, sadly, the elastic waistband has completely just evaporated in this and it's way too big on me. Um, there's a couple of things that I would like to try on because I like these things, but I don't remember these being really perfect fits on me. So I have this really old pencil skirt from H&M. I don't really tend to wear skirts like this anymore, but now that mini skirts are back, I may just want to keep this around because I really like the print. I've had this for a decade, I'm sure. Uh, this is a bit newer to me and it's a really cool hemline. Like it's a handkerchief hemline, which is why I want to keep it. And it's got this scarf print, so I really like the print, but this is a bit too small on me, I'm afraid. At least I think it is because the size in on the tag looks like it's going to be too small. So this I need to try on. I have a beige skirt from H&M. Uh, the handkerchief one is also from H&M and I really like it. It's a really cool broderie on glaze. So I'm inclined to keep it, but I'm not sure if this is my shade. It's a, it's just perhaps a little too skin tone like, um, but I do really like the fabric and the way this looks, I'm pretty sure. But I just want to put it on just to be sure that we're keeping the right things. 
And then I've got three things that I'm a bit undecided about, that I'm like, what to do with you? Um, because I found out I have another dark green skirt, and that dark green skirt I tend to wear more by now than this one. This is an old one from ASOS, it's a polyester, but it is really pretty, like it's got these pleats and it's got a very sort of retro vibe to it when I wear it. However, I have quite a few of these actual vintage skirts by now, so I think it's just time for me to let this one go. That's an old one, you guys, it's a very old skirt. And then I have this Topshop pleated skirt, and a similar thing here. It's like a silvery, light, baby blue, and I've always struggled to style this because the shade doesn't go with a lot of things that I have in my wardrobe. And I have other pleated skirts that are vintage that I just prefer, so I think this one can go. And then finally I have a wrap skirt from Bershka, and this one I'm inclining to keep. It's a snake print, which I think is just great, and with a pair of Doc Martens this looks really lovely. And I don't have anything like it, so this is gonna stay. Okay, so I knew kind of in advance that this bin wasn't going to see a whole lot of decluttering. In fact, you saw me adding two things in, um, and there's actually another thing in here that's new because this is my mini skirt collection, and I've kept a hold of my mini skirts over the years because I do like showing a little bit of leg, especially in the fall winter season if I can wear them with tights. But now that they're back in, back in vogue, I'm really happy that I never got rid of these. So, you know, I have the staples, a faux leather black one, I have some denim in here. Um, this is one of the newer additions that I didn't show you yet, but this is going to show up in an upcoming haul. It's from Vila, um, so I got that off of ASOS, it's this really pretty boucle. Um, but also some, like, very, very old staples, like my corduroy ones from Topshop. And then I also have my faux leather pants and leggings in here. Um, because that was the only spot they could go into. So yeah, the new things you saw me add are going to show up in an upcoming haul for sure. After trying on those three maybes, I decided to get rid of this one because it was too tight. Um, and I am keeping the longer two. The handkerchief one actually wasn't too small. Yay. Let's move on to the next bin. So I had kind of expected that I wasn't going to get rid of too many things in these bins because I've just recently reorganized it. So in terms of shorts, all we're getting rid of is this pair of khaki chino shorts that are a mid-rise, so that's not my favorite rise. I have bought so many high-rise, like linen-y, cotton-y shorts that are far more breathable than this that I would prefer over this one for sure. So this one can go, um, but in terms of um, like longer trousers, summery pants, I'm all set. I'm not really buying anything in those categories either, unless I find something truly, truly special. And these are sort of like my printer, tr printed trousers and like flared leggings and like a color pair of jeans that I don't really have a lot of color pairs of jeans, so that one get to live, gets to live here. And this is more like a fall winter selection, spring. <laughs> And then the other one is far more like lightweight materials um, that are very floaty. So that I'm, that I'm happy with. So that's uh, everything I'm going to keep. 
So this mountain you're looking at are all of my blazers. I said I was going to do tops and I was like, no, I'm going to clear out this unit first. And this is what I mean with my style changing, because a couple of years ago, I was really not into blazers, and now I am. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I naturally would like to keep all of these, but I'm not sure whether I should. I should definitely cull a few, I think. Um, keep a whole load of staples, I've got a couple of fun vintage ones. I'm not sure I need all of them. jackets and blazers that I'm definitely getting rid of. This mango lace bomber jacket is gonna go. This has been on the chopping block for a while. I'm not gonna lie, I have been considering getting rid of this for some time now. It's like a paisley print base and then it has a baroque lace overlay and then it has white faux fur trimming on the edges and that's the reason why I'm getting rid of it because it's quite tight and it gets really sweaty as well, so that's not great. And then I have five other blazers that I'm sort of on the fence about. Like, what do I want to do with these? Do I want to keep them or not? So these are maybes that I'm going to try on. And then this is my corduroy blazer. And I've always struggled with the shade of this. It's like this muted, not quite brown, not quite red, not quite pink sort of color. And I always struggle with these in-between kind of shades. Like if something is a straight up red or something is a pattern, then I don't really mind it. But with a shade like this, I'm never sure what to wear it with, but I love that it's a corduroy. This H&M number I always sort of used as an in-between, between a cardigan and a blazer. So if I didn't feel something went with a cardigan and something with a blazer was a bit too stuffy, but I feel that now that I fully embrace the blazer and I actually found a really good like bog standard black slightly oversized blazer for myself this season, I think it's time for this one to go. Mountain number one, all of my long sleeve blouses. I know it's too much. That's why we're doing this today. That's why I'm doing this declutter. I have definitely found myself investing in better quality fabrics in the past year or so. I got some silk blouses that I'm really enjoying. Um, and I've been really into buying vintage blouses as well. So I just know that I can get rid of certain things because they are either in a fabric I don't love or maybe I found something differently that I like even better. <laughs> Which is why this we're gonna cull.
Okay, so I think we're making progress. These are all definite no's, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then I have a couple of maybes here. So these are things I want to try on. So I've got this Urban Outfitters blouse that just, every time I wash it, it seems to shrink more. So the question is always, does it still fit? This one I've never worn. It's from Forever 21. It has a black closure, which is why I struggle to wear it, but it's such a fun lace blouse. Oh, this one I decided I can get rid of. Um, because I have a blue one similarly from Topshop. This one's from Urban Outfitters in a gray with this herringbone style. But I, I've just ended up wearing the blue a lot more than I do gray. I don't love gray on top unless it's like a t-shirt. So decisions were made. We're getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven short sleeve blouses. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, so as predicted, not a whole lot. I only wanted to get rid of one of my um, like solid t-shirts. And this is one of the H&M Trend collection that they used to do. It's a velvet t-shirt and is really deep navy with this like blowout sort of like burned out kind of print on it. It's so warm because it is velvet that I don't wear it. So that has to go. And then there were just a couple of printed t-shirts. I felt I had too many white band tees, so I just decided to get rid of the one that seemed to be the worst for wear. Um, this yellow t-shirt I decided to declutter because it started to look very pilled, and I actually now have some soft yellow tops that sort of resemble this shade in my blouses that I would wear what, what I usually wear this t-shirt for. The red one, same thing, it's just looking a bit grubby. Um, this black t-shirt, I mean, I remember really wanting a black t-shirt with a print, and then I sort of bought this, but I don't think I've worn it much because I find the black a little too stark. I'd rather go with something that's like just a dark gray, and I wear those all the time in the summertime. And this is just a really old top, which has this fun, like, sunset sort of palm tree kind of print. Very muted colors, but I now have some Hawaii print shirts in my button-down tops that I just prefer wearing over this. Right! So I can report back to you that now that I have decluttered my blouses a little bit, that I can actually fit all of my blouses on one rail again, which I'm really happy with. So I got rid of the overflow and I've got room to spare, which is great. So now we need to go through basics and like sh sleeveless tops and then long-sleeved turtlenecks, which I said at the beginning of this video, my style has been changing, and in recent years, a turtleneck 
with a blazer has been my go-to, uh, especially in the spring and like more like transitional seasons for sure. Um, so that's why I've got a lot going on there and I'm not sure how much I'll be able to get rid of. So let's just get started. Okay, so that's the top rail done and I'm I'm okay like I could have perhaps done a bit better but I got a couple of sleeveless things that I just know I won't be wearing anymore they're very old and I've had them for years so that those can go and then I did decide to get rid of some of my um, like long sleeve tops like these two top shop numbers I've had for so long and they're just looking a bit grubby so those can go and then this is a Zara one that I don't think I've ever worn um, this H&M uh, turtleneck is really pretty with like the frills, um, but I wore it and it like it's just a bit too cropped and it doesn't stay put. So that's a bit of a shame. And I've never liked the fabric of this one from Monkey. I've got a couple in this style, but there's just something with the print and the fabric that this is not too flattering on. And the print is actually a little bit small for it to look good on me. So those can go. Okay, so this was a really quick round and I think I did pretty good. I have no maybes and this is what I'm getting rid of. Dresses and jumpsuits. It's quite the pile. We need to get rid of things. So let's go.
Okay, so this took a little bit more time for me to decide, but I, I don't have any maybes to try on because I know my dresses quite well. And I actually found somewhere as like, oh yeah, I have you too. So that just goes to show that we had to get rid of some things. So a lot of the decisions here are prints that no longer appeal to me or fabrics that I didn't love or I didn't love the fit or I know they don't fit me anymore. And there's one that I pulled because I need to replace a zipper in it. I still love it. It's a tiny, teeny bit too small. So I actually want to see if I can take it to a tailor to get some more longevity out of it. So we're in for the home stretch sweaters I've been wearing recently and I really didn't buy that many things this past year. So it's just a matter of going through it, seeing what I want to keep, seeing what I want to get rid of, and then that's pretty much it. Let's see. Urban Outfitters, keep. H&M cashmere sweater. That's definitely a keep. It's really soft and it's a replacement for some of the sweater dresses that I got rid of. So those I definitely want to hang on to. This olive green sweater, I, I sort of have two now that are quite identical. So I'm going to keep the newer one. It's more of an army green rather than an olive. So that's one down. And then I just have black, which I'm fine with. Alright, so as I was trying to pull out the bins, I realized that I can't really put these back in very easily once I pull them out because they're a bit wider and a bit more difficult to control. So I just went through my jeans as I was going through my wardrobe. And these were actually already on the chopping block last year. These washed straight leg black jeans. I don't wear a lot of black jeans. If I wear black trousers, they're going to be trousers. They're not going to be jeans um, because I don't love the texture of that. And these have the raw hem. And I have a pair of true black mom jeans that if I'm going to wear black jeans, it's going to be them. Or skinnies, but not this. So those can go. And then my only pair of ASOS jeans, I'm definitely finally going to bite the bullet and get rid of these babies. So those can go as well. So that's two pairs of jeans that I'm getting rid of. So these are all of my like trousers, dress pants kind of things. And some of these come with blazer so they're part of a suit which is a sage pair this yellow pair this pink pair and this uh, purple pair and then I just have the navy blue I have some like taupey shades some linen-y things some creamy white off-white sort of things um, then I have some great things over here and that goes into this I didn't fold very well hold on um, so th the problem with these bins is that they taper down so they're not straight, which is why it seems like you can put more in than you actually can. And then it just goes into green. So I have sage green, cocky green, olive green, dark green. <laughs> and then I just have a couple of pairs of black pants. So, and this is what I would choose if I were to wear black trousers. This is what I go for. So I have sort of like a cottony, linen-y pair for like the spring summer season. This like more polyester-y, flowy kind of baggy style. And then a cigarette pair. So I have like different like cuts to them. And that's, that's it really. I don't think I have anything here that I would like to get rid of. So that's it you guys. That was my declutter. Shall I pan to this side? Because that's the declutter pile. So this, <laughs> there's a pile over there. Pile over here. A pile over here and there are piles to the back here so I can't even show you everything in one go but yeah this is everything I'm getting rid of I think I did a good job and I think I now finally have space again to put things away after I've done laundry because that has been the struggle 
Um, yeah, and things that I did do laundry with, I'm definitely not going to get rid of because those are things I love. So that's why those didn't really feature in today's declutter. But I think I did a good job. So thank you very much for watching today, everybody. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. Thank you very much for watching today. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.